Hi, and welcome back to Tara Life Coach Channel with me, your host, Tanya Melinda. So we are well into 2013, and it is now January 14th. So lots of energy this weekend. We had a new moon, so that energy was very good because it was in Capricorn. Time to get things organized, all your ducks in a row, time for everything to be the way you're ready for it to be. And so today's power words, before we do anything else, Let's talk about our power words and get our prayer in and see what's in store for us this week. So, this week's power words are suffering and surrendering. Because when you allow yourself to surrender, your struggle is over. So, it's struggling and suffering and, you know, surrendering. So, let go of the struggle and let go of the suffering so you can be surrendered by trusting in God. And so with that said, let's just go into our prayer. Knowing right here, right now, God is closer than our very breath, knowing God is our divine, infinite wisdom. God is our divine and perfect prosperity, love, peace, grace, and gratitude. God is in and as my life. And as I know that this is my truth, I know that it is absolutely the truth for everyone watching or listening to this video, I know God is, I know I am one with the divine, one with peace, one with prosperity, one with grace and gratitude, one with all that is good because all that is God is in me, through me, and as me. How good it is for me to do the work that I am put on this planet to do, to shine my light, to guide those who need the guidance, and to just continue to be a student teacher healer, writer, teacher, author, all of the things that I am, God, I am so grateful, and I know this is the truth for everyone, so I bless this week, calling it good, calling it great, calling it graceful, knowing that all our needs are met with grace and ease. I'm so blessed, and so are you, and so it is. So, feeling that prayer today, I really felt like I was going there. So anyway, I am back at my daughter's in Chicago, and I've got my favorite cards back. It's been a while, so I thought today for sure we'd use the fairy cards. And it's a little cold here in Chicago, so why not some wonderful fairy energy. So let's see what the fairies have in store for us this week. So this week, we'll also be shifting out of Capricorn and into the watery sign of Aquarius. So there'll be a lot of shifting, a lot of, you know, kind of letting things go. We're still figuring out our place and first time writing 2013. So let's see. Okay. Interesting. So here we have walk away. This what I really feel is about letting go of, like I said, the struggling and the, the suffering. We don't have to walk away. And it says leave the unhealthy situation, open the new doors, enjoy the new doors that open as a result. So let go of the things of 2012. Shift into a new energy now. We're in a new year. It's time for you to shift into that new year energy and not just oh I have all these goals and intentions but really allowing yourself to feel the newness of every day every second every minute because that's where your real power lies in the present moment not in the past so let go of the past what you didn't accomplish last year you can change it and shift it this year and to make it what you need it to be so don't hold on to the things that you didn't let do recreate them reset them recharge them revive them whatever it is it's time to reset, so that's what it is. And then our next card is travel. An upcoming trip to proves to be life-changing in positive ways. Interesting, because I'm going on the big airplane again on Thursday. And then last but not least, this is really good for me too, is business venture. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. So I know I feel that these cards are definitely speaking to me. And... Um, I will keep you updated. So I'm so excited to announce my daily OM class at dailyom.com. It is called Creating Your Year of Bliss. And so it's really about you deeper connecting to your spirit, connecting to yourself and healing your emotional, mental, physical, spiritual self and creating the life of your dreams. So if you've ever wanted to take a class with me, please sign up at dailyom.com. Just look for my name. The class is called Creating Your Year of Bliss. I do have two openings left for Wednesday afternoon. So if you've ever wanted a session with me, I've got some availability on Wednesday if you're in the Chicago area. Inbox me at g tarotlifecoach at gmail.com. So let's get to our tarot reading for this week. 
It's a beautiful sunny day here, and I'm sure it's cold and gray in Kiev. Actually, it's night in Kiev. So we had a jumper card, so let's see what that has to say. And I'm just going to go ahead and see what our tarot cards say. And then let's see what our jumper card says first. We've got some great cards this week, some good energy. So our jumper card was the Seven of Pentacles. This is about being grateful and really connecting with your inner self, knowing and valuing your worth. So this is all about seeing what gifts you have to offer the world and being grateful and graceful and offering them your time, talent, and treasure. So this is a really positive card. So let's see what else we have. Okay, so we've got all pinnacles and cups. This is great. So we'll get the eight of cups. This is about taking your ideas off the shelf and allowing them to flourish through you. So this is all those ideas and things that you've had. Some things that you've had to, like I said, recharge, reset, revive, re, you know, refuel. But some of those ideas that you had from last year, bring them with you. Some of the things that need to be left behind, leave them there. Close one door so a new door can open. And you remember, um, cups are about your emotions. So these are emotional things that have needed to be let go. Forgive, heal, stop struggling, stop and stop suffering and start surrendering. That's what this card is really saying. And then we get the Six of Pentacles. Again, share who you are with the world. Share your time, talent, and treasure with those who you want to spend time with, as well as organizations and charities. So this is about giving back, paying it forward. Really allow yourself to be in that energy of you know giving and sharing of your time. Because when you what you put out, you get back. So make sure that you are doing that. And again, that is really that act of surrender. Because when you're not worrying about the how, and you're really you know allowing the wow to be in your life, the more you give, the more you get. So it's all that circle of life. And then last but not least, we get the nine of pentacles. So prosperity. And you know, nine is like the end of a cycle. So things are really sh starting to shine on you. Allow your your gifts to be received so open your arms with open arms receive your blessings now that's what these cards are all about so this week is really about moving forward in a positive way letting go of what needs to be let go of but more than that really allowing yourself to shine really giving of yourself and not worrying about how the money is going to come in just knowing that it is and trusting the universe which is the most important thing for us to remember we don't have it figured out but our divine plan is always pushing us forward where we need to be. And if you want help and guidance with letting go of the past, again, please look at my outline for my class, Creating Your Vera Bliss, bliss sorry, at dailyom.com. There's also a link right here on my website. Um, and if you're interested, send me an email, or if you'd like your own guidance sessions, um, please send me an email at tarolifecoach.com, and, oh, I'm sorry, tarolifecoach at gmail.com, and also this Thursday we'll, we'll be live. I will be still here in Chicago. So we, I will be on the radio with Ron Ash at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is the week ahead. So many blessings to each and everyone. Know that you are in my heart. I am sending you love, light, and healing, peace, energy right now for all of those who need it. And we are just so blessed. Know you are blessed. Know you are worthy. And let go of the struggle. Let go of the, the you know, suffering. And really step into your surrender because it is sweet. Till next week, everybody. Peace and blessings.